for the past two years, Center for Information Technology and Development, CETA, has been actively involved in promoting citizen tribe national policies for sustainable community networks in Nigeria. At a press conference, the community network officer of the center, Aruna Hadeja, said the need for community networks is timely due to the increase of identified communities that are unconnected or partially connected. Uh, the need for community networks in Nigeria is timely because of the increasing number of identified settlements or communities that are yet to be connected or are partly connected. Uh, this connectivity instability deprived such areas or settlements from not only making phone calls, but cut off from internet facilities such as the e-medicine, the e-commerce, e-banking, etc. We are all aware that the Universal Service Provision Fund, USPF, is meant to receive and keep safe all financial taxes and contributions made uh, by operating service providers in the country and to support community initiatives such as the community network projects. The officer stressed the need for the NCC to come up with regulatory frameworks and support for communities, including waiving of licensing fees as in other African countries. Uh, while acknowledging that licensed service providers in this country uh, remit their taxes uh, and other voluntary contributions to support citizens-driven initiatives, uh, CITED would specifically like to, one, remind the Nigerian Communications Commission's NCC to come up with regulatory frameworks for community networks, including no fee for licensing, as is done in other African countries, uh, such as Kenya, uh, specifically to support the citizens' uh, communication initiatives. Uh, two, uh, the Nigerian Communications Commission's NCC uh, should support community networks by paying for the licensing fee and by getting them a backhaul to use. Number three, the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy should empower a committee to come up with a national policy for community networks. It's only when we have this in place that you can have legally operating or operative community networks. He then called on the journalists to continue supporting CTAC's efforts, especially in the community networks advocacy. Muhammad Adamu, AIT News Kano.